Well, hey there, this is Sandy Alnock. I'm an artist and I draw on all the things with all the things. (laughs) And you can see an example of it right here. This is, by the way, not going to be political, but it is going to talk about the election. So if you have election phobia, you might want to turn the sound off. But if you don't, then I'm just going to tell you to check your registration, your voter registration. Last fall, I drew on another pair of shoes and they were PF flyers. I'll link to the video at the end of this one, as well as in the doobly-doo down below, if you want to go see that one and the whole crazy story about how I came into possession of a pair of PF flyers. But I have worn them around town, worn them walking the dogs, going to the grocery store. I've worn them on planes. And it seems everywhere I go, people comment on them and it starts conversations. Which brought me to thinking we are in an election season in the United States. And my big thing is not trying to get people to vote for who I think they should vote for. I mean, I still think you should vote for who I'm going to vote for, but I'm not going to tell you who it is. And I'm not going to worry about that because my big thing is making sure your registration is still valid in your state. Because there are a lot of states that purge people and especially just before an election, they get crazy about it. And you need to check at vote.org and make sure that your voter registration is still valid. Now, there's a lot of reasons that you could have been removed from the rolls. It could be your name is too close to a person who died and they accidentally clicked your name when they removed them instead of the person who's dead. That could be the problem and you can go and fix that as long as you have time before the election, which is why I'm coming to you now, because you have time. Other reasons you might have had your voter registration removed is maybe you didn't vote in the last election or the last primary because you didn't like any of the candidates. You would not be alone in that. So always check your voter registration and you can check it weekly. You can check it daily if you want, if you get really obsessed, but make sure you check it repeatedly in enough time before the election that you can actually do something about it and then go make sure you get re-registered. The uh, shoes that I'm drawing on, by the way, are not uh, real Chucks, but I'm trying to make them look like Chucks because I just think it would be cool to have a pair that looks like Chucks. But I had to go for a pair of Taos, T-A-O-S is the manufacturer, because they make orthotic shoes that like my feet can wear. Because my PF Flyers, even though they're gorgeous and I really enjoy them, but they unfortunately are... Uh, like painful for my feet. They don't have any support in them. I did get myself a little insert thing to put in it, big squishy insert with some support in it, but they're still not greatly comfortable for long periods of time wearing them. These are super comfortable. And you might've noticed there's a zipper, right? Right above the word justice there, there's a zipper that goes along there. You can tie these suckers once and then just undo and do the zipper and not have to tie your shoes all the time. And I'm that person who slips out of my shoes and all the heels of my shoes are uh, all busted up because of it, because that's just how I've rolled since I was a kid. But anyway, that is uh, why I got these shoes from Taos. They also have other kinds, um, but they don't have the white toes on them. So I had to draw my own white toes in there. They are going to get a little dirty, so I may have to do something to, uh, to put some color in there so you don't notice how gross they might get eventually. But this is my finished pair of kicks, and I'm going to be wearing these around town. If I'm out flying, you might see me on a plane with them. So if you see somebody riding around in this very custom, very individualized pair of shoes, not only will you know that it's me, you will also know that you are going to be asked if you have checked your voter registration lately at vote.org. They know whether you are registered and they know whether you have voted. They do not know how you voted. Your vote is private just for you. No one can find that out. All right. Thank you very much for joining me for this video. Go check your registration and I will see you again for another art video in the very, very near future. See you then. Bye bye.